In this video, you will learn three tips you didn't know about improving your pie charts in PowerPoint. These three tips will make your pie charts a lot more easy for your audience to understand and get deeper insights. Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. Now you can get a free sneak peek into Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. The details are in the description box below this video. Typically, this is how a pie chart looks in a PowerPoint presentation. It's not very easy for the audience to understand much from a pie chart like this. And that is because this is the default option when you go to insert chart and you insert a pie chart. If you don't know how to insert a pie chart in PowerPoint, then I have a separate video that shows you how to insert a pie chart. So please go to that video, learn, and then come back to this video. And I'm going to assume that you've already done that and we are going to take it from here. Now, let us see what are the things we can do to make this pie chart a lot better than the way it is right now. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to make this pie chart a bit more readable and understandable for your audience. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, go to add data labels option, and I'm going to say add data labels, and that adds data labels. So it is easier for the audience to understand the values here for individual segments. Then. I'm going to click on the bounding box here and I'm going to go to the home tab in PowerPoint ribbon. I'm going to go to the font group and I'm going to increase the font size by clicking on the bounding box and increasing the font size. I uh, increase the font size of all the text elements in the chart. So that is a simple useful uh, tip. So now these numbers are far more readable for the audience than the way they were earlier. And there is another thing that you can do, which is if you want to change the font color of any particular data label, you can do so as well. Say in this case, there is not sufficient contrast between the font color and the background color. So on the first click, I select all the data labels. Then I click again on that particular data label and it isolates that label. I can go here and choose a contrasting color. Now this pie chart is way better than the default pie chart we started with, which didn't really give us much idea about what is being shown on the slide. Now let us go to the three tips. The first tip is to reduce eye hops to make it easy for your audience to understand the information on your chart. Now, what do we mean by eye hops? Take a look at this chart. For your audience to understand the information from this chart, their eyes have to hop between the chart and the legend multiple times. For example, they first need to go to the chart and see what color this represents by going to the legend and then they go back to the chart and see what orange color represents and then they go to the legend and make sense of it. So by the time they understand all the categories here, they would have gone from the chart to the legend so many times that their eyes can get tired. A much better way to present the same information is to reduce IHOPs by including the category values right inside the data label itself. Let me show you how I do it and how much better the chart looks when I do so. I'm going to first click on the data labels here. I'm going to right click, go to format data labels and that brings me this particular pane on the right hand side. Now there are a few things I'm going to do to make the data labels as good as possible. The first thing I'm going to do is to include category name. And this is the category name that you see in the legend. So by including category name, I automatically make sure that audience doesn't have to go from uh, the chart to the legend. I'm going to select the legend and I'm going to delete it. Then let us go once again back to the data labels and let us make a few minor adjustments. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this comma to a semicolon. So you can see here in the option separator and you click on this drop down menu and go to this option called semicolon then a comma because this makes it much easier for the audience to separate these two values rather than just a comma. The next thing is 
to change the label position. Sometimes when you have a number of categories, it becomes very difficult for the audience to read these data labels. So it is a good idea to choose outside end rather than inside. And then let us change the font color to black so that it's easier for the audience to read. And now when I click outside, this information is way better than the default option we started out with. Now let us go to tip number two to take this to the next level. And the tip is highlight the key point. As you can see here, we have highlighted the key point. Now this chart shows how we perform compared to the competitors. So it is essential for us to show our performance distinctly compared to the others. So what I'm going to do is to first color this particular segment differently. As I click on the chart, all the segments are selected. Then I click on my specific segment and that isolates that segment alone. And then let me go to shape fill and give it a different or distinct color. Now black is a distinct color and this automatically differentiates mine from the rest. Now to make it even more pronounced, I'm going to click and drag this particular segment slightly outside so that it visually is separated from the rest of the segments here. Then I'm going to go to the data label here. On the first click, you see that all the data labels are selected. Then I'm going to click on the same data label once more to isolate that one. And then I'm going to go to shape fill and give it a black color, which is the color that I've chosen for the segment. And I'm going to go to the font color and make it white so that it is in contrast. And I'm also going to increase the font size reasonably well so that even the fonts tell that this data is, this data point is significant compared to the other ones. And now we are highlighting the specific point on this chart so that your audience doesn't have to struggle to understand what is the main point of your presentation. So we have done the second tip to improve our charts. Now let us go to the third and final tip. Let us say our chart has a number of categories like this. As you can see here, it is our performance compared to so many different competitors. Now, one of the main things that you need to understand is when you show your chart on a PowerPoint slide, your audience doesn't have too much time to understand every single detail here. So it is always a good idea to reduce the number of categories in a pie chart to four or less than four. Now, when you do that, you can see that the chart is a lot more understandable than this holy mess. So what do you do? A simple way is if you go to right click and go to edit data, you can see that there are so many players here, competitor one, two, which are the significant ones. And from there on, you have so many other competitors who all have small, small values. So it is a good idea to add all these numbers and then put them under the category called others so that the chart that you end up getting is far easier on the eyes. Now see what I have done here. I have gone to edit data and you can see that I only have competitor one, two, and then the rest is clubbed under others and I've added all their values and I have put the values here. So this is a very important thing that you need to do to make sure that your charts are easily readable. So those were the three tips to improve your pie charts in PowerPoint. The first one is to reduce IHOPs by including the category name right inside the data label and removing the legend so your audience doesn't have to hop between the chart and the legend. The second one is you need to highlight the main point of your chart so it's easy for the audience to get the main point of your presentation. The third one is reduce the number of categories to four or less than four so your chart is easy for the audience to read. If you apply these three simple tips, your pie charts will be way better than the typical pie charts your audience sees in a boardroom. Hey, are you looking for an easy to follow, comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online? Do you want to learn how to create beautiful picture slides like this, chart slides like this, infographics like this, 3D graphics like this, or in general, beautiful slides like this, this, or this, then please join our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery membership program. 
It is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. You get instant access to more than 650 step-by-step -step video tutorials, more than 225 text-based lessons, and more than 400 downloadable files the moment you join Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. You can sign up for a free sneak peek into the program right away. Please click here to watch a few of the premium videos from the program for free right now. I'll see you inside the program.